welcome back. Oh, sorry, welcome. Sorry, we are coming live from the middle of the African bush. Those are the African wild dogs, one of the most rare uh, carnivals in the whole of the world. My name is Brent Yersmith. I have my good friend Brian Joubert. Together we are known as the Killer, killer bees. bees. And we're bringing you these absolutely fantastic killer wild dogs uh, live from South Africa. We're in the eight and a half million acre Greater Kruger National Park. It is a wilderness area uh, where these animals are protected and able to roam free. Now remember, this isn't a zoo. We are live from the African bushveld. So enjoy, and if you want to ask me any questions, just pop them on the feed below. Now we can see there's an actual pile of dogs just there. There are 13 members in this pack and uh, we got to witness something incredibly sad yesterday. We actually saw one of the, the puppies that, that are about eight and a half months old uh, got killed by a lioness right next to us. Lions are the biggest threat to wild dogs or natural threat to wild dogs out here. And you can see that, see how their ears pop up. They have to be alert. Uh, danger lurks around every corner in Africa. And uh, hopefully, nothing will come to them as i said they are going to be sleeping now it's about 85 degrees fahrenheit so it's very very hot and they're all sleeping in the shade but come about 20 past five central african time they are going to get out and go on the hunt and you can join us for that if you just pop over to the website wildsafarilive.com and for those of you who watch nat geo wild in the u.s uh you might remember at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time last Sunday, we were live on Nat Geo Wild hunting uh, with wild dogs. And who knows, maybe this Sunday night at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be live hunting with wild dogs on Nat Geo Wild again. So remember, if you want to ask any questions, just pop them on the feed below. Also, let me know where you're watching from. Now, these are critically endangered animals, so there's quite satellite collar on him there he is you can see his collar there now that enables the researchers to keep a track of their movements and uh, of course out in the African bush we don't interfere when nature takes place so if a lion kills a wild dog that's part of the natural natural system uh, but if they pick up a disease from domestic dogs or, or, or they're hit by a car, uh, then we will intervene, especially in such a critically endangered animal. There are only three and a half thousand left in the wild in the whole of Africa. Uh, they are one of the most endangered carnivores in the world. And they're also my favorite animal. They are incredibly quick. And uh, when they do get moving and hunting, even though it doesn't look like it when they're flat puppies like this, uh, they can get up to probably about 35, 40 miles an hour, and they can keep that going for up to six or seven miles. Well, Ashley thinks they really are amazing. Ashley, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, they are absolutely spectacular. Now, they've got a quite a strange smell. They smell sort of like... Um, a musty wet uh, wet dog so that doesn't really go away and a lot of people find the smell quite uh, unpleasant i actually quite enjoy the smell for me uh, and for brian i know it's what we call the smell of excitement because even though they're sleeping now we know at 20 past five in about an hour's time they're going to start doing their greeting ceremony they're probably going to go have a swim in the little water hole and then every antelope beware because the dogs are going to be on the hunt But for the moment, they are just a pile of puppies. So just a few of the countries who are joining us on this live broadcast. Um, we've got people in Ireland, in Brazil, and Mexico. So great to have all of you guys joining us here. And uh, remember, the website, wildsafarilive.com. Uh, you can join us for another couple of hours of live African safaris. I am not the only person out here. Jamie is out tracking lions, so she's found fresh lion footprints, uh, and she's trying to see where they lead her. Hopefully it leads her to a lion. And then uh, Taylor is out exploring the bush on foot and looking at all sorts of little wonderful things, flowers, and uh, 
plants and insects because it's not always only about the big hairies and scaries. Sometimes the little things are just as amazing. Although I've found a hairy little thing. Just as I said, it's not about the big hairies and scaries. I spotted, well, it's both hairy and scary. Now, uh, this is one of the things that probably you want to run into less than any other animal out in the African bush. Oh, you got him there, Brian. So, just I just noticed on the branch there. Now, I've had major run-ins with that, those type of creatures. That is a hairy caterpillar. And if they get onto your skin, it is one of the most painful and itchy things you could ever imagine. Um, I actually had about three or four fall down my shirt on a live safari once. And it was so itchy, I had to take off my shirt and go scratch myself against a tree. <laughs> it was very, very unpleasant. So um, here at Safari Live, we don't only look for the big big things um, and we've got an incredible safari tent as well and we've got the masterful James Henry in there and he's got a microscope so we can look at the, the structure of the uh, of an insect's eye um, at the how bones are made uh, and it is just incredible there is just so much out here in the African bush uh, that you can never get bored and you can never stop learning and that's one of the reasons that we do what we do Well, Vosse wants to know, why are they always sleeping? Uh, Vosse, they are, are definitely not always sleeping. Uh, these are the most active of uh, the carnivores here. Uh, Vosse, if you want to see them not sleeping, uh, you need to be joining me at about half past five Central African time um, on the website wildsafarilive.com because they are almost certainly going to hunt and they are the most exciting animals to watch hunt. So they split from domestic dogs around 1.8 million years ago. Does not possess razor sharp ripping teeth so they don't feed a lot of bones 90% uh, off meat and an impala which weighs about 120 pounds a big male impala uh, will be finished in less than five minutes with 13 wild dogs feeding they literally pull that animal apart uh, it is sometimes a bit gruesome but it is nature at its most raw and its most powerful now it could change right now you never know uh, an antelope might wander in here and cause them to all chase off an elephant might come chase them uh, and that's the thing about being live in the bush you literally do not know what's going to happen next um, jeffrey in malaysia why are is asked why are their ears always flapping well jeffrey as i said there's lots of little creatures out here in africa as well now jeffrey i think we can't really see them but there are a really terrible little fly species called stable flies and uh, they are biting those wild dogs ears so the flick of the ear is to keep the biting flies at bay now we are coming to the towards the end of this live broadcast can you believe we're live from the african bush it is just incredible uh, and it's been a pleasure for brian and myself to share some a little bit of knowledge and our love and passion for africa for with you uh, remember uh, at sunday night 11 p.m eastern standard time for those of you in the united states nat geo wild you can join us for a live sunrise for you in the early morning and hopefully we'll have hunting wild dogs with us but if you want to see if these wild dogs hunt in about an hour or so um, you can join us on the website www.wildsafarilive.com you never know jamie might find those lions taylor might find some uh, some elephants and uh, james has got lots of fascinating insects and other creatures to show you under the microscope in his safari tent now for the last little while uh, i'm sure you'd much rather look at my favorite animal and for me one of the most exquisite creatures in the whole world the african wild dog now as i said they are probably going to get moving uh, but for the last few remaining seconds and hopefully we'll see you or you'll see us on the hunt uh, a little bit later Thank you.